Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, we're going to do stress transformation using Mohr's circle. And we're given the state of stress here with values of normal stress of 20 megapascals and 10 megapascals and a shear stress of 30 megapascals. And what we want to find are the principal stresses and draw the representative volume element in its principal stress state and also the maximum in-plane shear stress and draw that representative volume element in the maximum in-plane shear stress state. The way we're going to do this is by using more circle. So here I've kind of summarized the process that I like to use for drawing more circle. The first thing I want to do is establish a local coordinate system on the stress element. And technically you can use any direction as X and Y, but to get started off, I'm just going to go ahead and use X as horizontal and Y as vertical. And this is important so that we can define what our stresses are. So the next thing that we need to do is define stresses. And with our coordinate system that we have, based on this right here, sigma x, because it's causing tension on the face, is equal to 20 megapascals. Sigma y is causing compression on this face of the, the stress element. And so sigma y is negative 10 megapascals. And the shear stress is positive because this 30 megapascals is on the positive x face in the positive y direction. And positive times positive is a positive number. So this is plus 30 megapascals. Now that we have our stresses defined, we're ready to draw our coordinate axes for more circle. Now you could go ahead and draw the coordinate axes here. I kind of like to hold off a little bit on drawing the vertical shear axis just because I don't know where my Mohr circle is going to be with respect to uh, zero. So here I'll just draw a horizontal axis to represent my normal stress. So I'll call this my plus sigma axis. And just know my plus tau or my vertical axis will go somewhere along this length. But before I do that, I want to determine the center of Mohr circle and the first point on the outer radius. The center is just at sigma average comma zero. And sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by two, which in this case would be 20 plus negative 10 divided by two. And that is five megapascals. And that means my center is located at five comma zero megapascals. And the first point on the outer radius which I'll call A, is sigma x tau xy. It has the coordinates of 20 comma 30 megapascals. Now this may seem a little unorthodox, but when I'm drawing more circle, especially on paper without any like graphing lines or graphing paper, I like to draw the circle first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the circle first here. I've got a, an, like the bottom of a cup to help me out. All right, I can live with that circle. And the first point of my circle, the center, is here. And it has a coordinate of 5, comma 0. You might recall that I like to draw my, my positive tau axis is going to be downwards. But I don't know where this 0 is yet, or where it crosses this plus a sigma axis. I do know that the first point of my outer radius is 20, comma 30. And so that point is going to be, let's see, right around, let's say, here. I still haven't drawn my plus tau axis in, but the next thing I want to do is actually calculate the radius. This will give me much more information on where I need to draw that vertical axis, especially in a case where I don't have graphing paper available to me. And the radius is just, by Pythagorean theorem, is this distance and this distance. Square, square root of some squares of those distances. A was 20, 30, which would make this distance right here, this would be a 15, and this would be 30. So the radius is equal to 33.54 MPA. So my zero is somewhere probably around here. And that is what more circle looks like. And this point A is important because this point A represents the state of stress when it looks like this. And more importantly, it means when theta is equal to zero degrees. This defines the reference for any rotations that I need to do. 